G'day YouTube, Aussie FIFA HD, and welcome back to yet another FIFA 21 tutorial on the channel. We have something, I always say this, but very special for you guys. Today it's how you guys can win with 10 men. Let's say you've got a red card and you're in a position where you're not sure what to do. Well, I'm going to help you guys out, so without further ado, let's get into the intro and then I'm going to teach you guys how you guys can win when you are one man down in FIFA 21. Griezmann, three men around him, but somehow finds some space. Ronaldo, fantastic, opening the drive back. He's made himself the tiniest bit of space. Oh, it almost feels like a bit of a toy. Didn't really go for him. Oh! Oh! It's a display there. Absolutely ridiculous. The last to go on the goal line. On the goal line, the finest. We of talked margin. about Aussie FIFA. He's not here to make up the numbers. Before we jump into our example game, we're going to jump into the custom tactics and player instructions. Specifically, when you have 10 men on the pitch, when you have one man down, you've had your defender sent off and you're not sure what to do. Basically, lads, what we're going to do is we're going to jump into the defensive formation here in the 4-2-3-1. And the formation that I specifically use when I go one man down is the 3-4-1-2. Now the reason why is because it's quite attacking, but it's also quite defensive when you have the right player instructions on your players. And what I mean by that, well, I'll, I'll first of all get into that uh, in just a second. But let's just say for this example, um, we have Paredes. Okay, he's that uh, right, right back from PSG. Basically, we're going to pretend that he has been sent off. What I will usually do is I will place the player that has been sent off on the left mid position. Okay, specifically if I have a winger that is a right footed winger because I want him to make crosses, okay, and that for me is Odegaard. So uh, Odegaard will be on that right mid position. Obviously, I'm going to have Mbappe up top as well, okay. So this is my formation. Again, Paredes has been sent off. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to jump into the instructions here for our two strikers. It's going to be getting behind. The reason why I want these two in getting behind is because I want them making runs Constantly, I'm in a position where I'm one man down. I don't want to be too defensive because that's how you are left, uh, you know, vulnerable for long shots, etc., etc. I still want to be playing hard. I still want to be putting pressure on my opponent, and by doing that, I'm leaving them on getting behind. They're making runs. They're giving me attacking options, you know, throughout um, throughout my attack. Alessandrini is our cam. He has been left on default. Okay, I'm not going to leave. I'm not going to change anything for him. For my two CDMs, they're going to be on stay back while attacking, okay? I want them back, helping out with the defense. We're obviously one man down. We need those defensive players back, okay? For Odegaard, what I'm actually going to be doing for him is I'm going to have him on comeback on defense. What that does is it allows my right mid to push up in attack, but then it also allows him to drop back, and I've got four at the back, in defense and really when you think about it this way that's not much different to having a regular formation with 11 men you'll have four at the back and you'll have two cdms in that basically in that defensive formation it's going to be the same out guard's going to be back we're going to have alexander arnold christensen and diaz in the defense so there's pretty much four at the back we're then going to have mount and c jones you know obviously the liverpool man himself back in defense you know making up that defensive line Okay, and that's very important. But I do want to stress as well for your centre bats, they're left on stay back while attacking, of course. Okay, but what I usually do is I put my quicker centre back, and I will have to change this around. I put my quicker centre back basically in the centre, and I'll move him around very shortly. But what that does is allows my two solid centre bats to be back. Okay and they're able to make those tackles on the wing as the wingers run back. And then I've got my faster centre back in the centre, making those runs in between and being able to cover, okay, each centre back, which is why I like having that, okay? So Alexander Arnold will be in the middle for that example there. We then obviously need to move into the custom tactics. It's again similar to what I have taught you guys in the past. Keep it simple, stupid. Kiss, the analogy, okay? Keep it simple. I will usually have this on balanced. Also, uh, also have the defense, sorry, offense on balanced. I'm not going defensive, 
When you go defensive and you're one man down, you are vulnerable to gaps and you are vulnerable to long shots. Do not go defensive. Keep your attack going. You still want to score goals when you're one man down, even if you're up, okay? Because momentum, I believe, is a thing, and I do think that games can swing sometimes. And I'm not saying momentum is in the game. I'm talking about from the player themselves. You know, when you when you concede, you do get down. You're like, oh, you know, it's not the best, you know, and you do get down mentally. That, for me, is momentum, okay? And so I do think it's important that you have that positive mindset and that you are still attacking, okay? All right, and not going defensive. It's very important, all right? That's basically the formation, the custom tactics, and the instructions that I like to have. All of these are on pretty much default. I've got uh, three for corners, three for f uh, free kits, five for players in the bots, five for width. I've got five for depth and five for width, okay? So they're my custom tactics. They're pretty basic. They're unbalanced. As I said, keep it simple, stupid. We're going to jump into the game example that I have for you guys where I purposely went one man down so that I could show you guys how this plays out and the way that you're meant to play with these custom tactics and that formation. Moving into the clips from our game example. As you're seeing here, we purposely got a red card so we could go down to 10 men and I did change the formation into the tactics and the instructions that I laid out for you guys in the first segment okay so that's all the same and basically what I want to be doing in this situation is holding the ball for me purpose per, uh, personally that is what I do I am a possession style player and I find when you are you know one man down you've got 10 men on the pitch it's better to keep the ball because you know, you can't concede, all right, when you've got the ball. You can concede when you give it away. So that's why I like to try and keep possession as much as I can and get those runs going. And it's exactly why I said to you, keep your strikers on get in behind, okay? As you're seeing here in defense, there are situations where I've got pretty much four at the back and I've got my two CDMs. The reason why I've got four at the back is because I left my right mid on get back, on stay back while attacking, okay? And that's very important because it allows me to have a fairly solid defensive line whilst also having a pretty commendable attack, okay? And what I'm doing here is I'm basically keeping possession as I said before, but I'm also using the wings quite a bit. And the side that I'm using is obviously the right, and that's because I've got my right mid over there. And what I'm able to do is make a heap of plays up the wing, and I'm able to use the get in behind tactic of my strikers to play those through balls through. And I'm able to open up a lot of space to score some goals. Okay, and as you see, from all of the examples here, I'm able to score goals from utilizing that wing finding gaps, recycling the ball, and basically opening up my opponent when he's got 11 men and scoring some goals. And that's why, for me, this custom tactic, this player instruction, this formation in general, when you are, okay, one man down and you've got 10 men, is the best. Okay, and when defense as well, you've seen I'm using quite high pressure tactics just from right stick selection and the L1 button to basically push my defense up and put a lot of pressure onto my opponent, even with one man down, okay? If you know how to use right stick selection, then use it. I've stressed to you guys enough in previous episodes of how important right stick selection is, and it comes into play for when you are, obviously, one man down, okay, on the pitch. It's a very important, crucial way of defending, and when you can utilize right sit selection, especially when you have less men on the pitch, it will come in, you know, into play, and it will come in handy, and it will basically give you an advantage over your opponent if they don't use it either, okay, which is why I stress to you guys, as my, you know, as my friends, as my viewership, as my subscribers, it's very important that you guys utilize right sit selection. They're basically my custom tactics. They're basically the simple tactics that I like to uh, use when I'm, you know, one man down. They're simple, as I said. Keep it simple, stupid. Okay, I'm using the wings. I'm then opening gaps up in the middle to then try and thread a through ball through, find that striker and have a shot and just try and, you know, score some goals. Okay, and in defense, again, it's quite simple. I'm having those, you know, those attackers, those that right mid come back. I'm having my CDMs come back 
and I'm able to have a pretty solid defense, even when I am one man down. But lads, that will signal the end of the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Can we smash a like, drop a sub, and follow me on Instagram and TikTok as well. I have been doing tutorials over there, guys, so be sure to check them out. But as always, I hope you guys have a good day. I'm out. Sayonara. Au revoir. Adios. And goodbye.